What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Just Create. I'm your host Thomas Duran and this is a brand new episode of 2019 of Just Create. I'm completely excited to come back to you. Um, and you know, this last year was absolutely amazing. All the different guests that I got to bring on, bring in so much different knowledge, uh, expertise from all sorts of industries within the business on how they use video for their company or for their or for their industries, um, different strategies on lifestyle, on mindset. And it's just been absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really, really excited continuing that this to, uh, in 2019. Now, one little thing I really wanted to commit to is to continue to bring you excellent guests, but I also want to bring more shows and more content. The way I think that might be beneficial for you is to do these little quick videos. So hence the new setup right here. And uh, when you see this setup, you know it's gonna be an excellent show because this is where we're gonna learn on how to be able to create video and how to just create and what I do, my strategies on how to use it for your business, uh, how to shoot your own video, some basic skill sets that you may want, some ideas and tips on what cameras to get, what, uh, what strategy to use to how to create a video, what, you know, from shooting B-roll all the way from how you know how to ask what questions to it for testimonials, um, you know, where the best gear out there. So there's just so much content that I want to be able to share and show you what I do and how I shoot and how I work within creating a beautiful professional video. Without further ado, the very first topic I like to talk today about is B-roll. Now, does anyone know what B-roll is? Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys know and understand what B-roll is, but for those novices that may not understand the actual terminology of B-roll, B-roll is the footage that you get that really kind of helps support your A-roll. Your A-roll is your subject that is talking. It's your narration. Your narration could be uh, as known as your A-roll or a voiceover could be known as an A-roll. And so, B-roll though is extremely important just because it is second, it is, should actually be used on every single video that you do. Well, B-roll is the footage that you capture that really helps show and showcase the subject and the service that you're talking about. I think we're too many times now these days, people that are starting their own videos, it is always them in front of the camera. That's great to be in front of the camera but what's gonna be bringing it together and a lot more engaging is using that B-roll. Being able to show those, what we call selects, the other footage showcasing what you're actually describing. So like for example, right? You know, if you're a watch company, a watch brand company, and you have, so it's a product, and that product, people want to actually see that product in action. They don't necessarily want to hear you talk about it. They want to actually see it. And that's where the power of B-roll comes into play because that's your opportunity to showcase the watch in action. You could showcase it of, of people in a regular different lifestyle of showing it with them wearing it, walking across the street, going into business meetings, you know, showing the everyday life of them wearing that beautiful watch. Or another B-roll you could show is the product itself. That's where you get that, you know, close macro shots of the, of, of the hands on the watch or the detailed information about that watch and seeing it move and, and seeing the material. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful and powerful. Now, with that being said, let's say if you don't have a product, well, how does B-roll come to play if you're just a sole entrepreneur? Well, people want to see you in action. They don't necessarily always want to see you in front of camera. They want to see you actually working with clients. They want to see you, uh, see maybe see clients actually using your product or your service that you provide, right? So that's what we're going to discuss about today is how do we shoot and create and think of creative ways to shoot B-roll. And there's going to be two tips that I want to discuss to you about today. Number one, how to shoot B-roll in a sequential manner. And number two, what kind of devices that we can use to be able to create some amazing dynamic video uh, or B-roll shots that you could be able to use today. And then I'm gonna showcase on how I shot B-roll. All right, so 
first tip of the day of B-roll and how to shoot B-roll um, is known as sequence shooting or sequ sequential shooting. And so what that means is this, when you're trying to establish a scene or a setting and you wanna showcase someone in action of doing something, maybe you're describing them using your service on a laptop and they're showcasing your you know, they're, you're talking about using your program that you've developed that helps them out with their automation. Well, guess what? This is a perfect time to use B-roll to actually see it in action or having someone do it with an action so people can understand how easy it is to use your system. So what do you do to do that? Well, sequen sequential shooting. What that means is you first start, start with by doing an establishing shot. People need to know where the setting is at. So what you, know, what you do with that shot is known as a wide shot. So get a wide, get a wide of someone at their desk, working on their computer, typing away, you know? That is something that you'll probably only use that one time, but it, what it does is it establishes your surroundings, establish the shot and understand where we're taking the viewer to next. The next shot is more of your medium shot. Now, the medium shot is somewhat like this, maybe a, you know, a little bit closer, maybe a little bit wider, but this is right around the medium shot. And the medium shot is gonna be the majority of your B-roll, I'm, I'm assuming, is that that's, that's the majority where you're gonna be able to do a lot of your, uh, of your, of your footage that you're gonna to use to support whatever, the, whatever it is that you're talking about. The, the medium shot is, where you still get to see the surrounding of, of what's happening, but you're getting a little bit more conversation, a little bit more intimate with the viewer by doing a medium shot. Only, it almost allows them to feel like they are there with you, right? Because if you think about it, when you're with someone, we really, in real life, we look at things very medium. When you're discussing, uh, when you're talking with a person one-on-one, -on -one, it's literally, you're looking at the person very like a medium shot, you know, very conversational. I hope that makes sense. The next shot you wanna get in the same scene, right? In the same scene is your tight or your close up shot. This is where it gets really intimate, very cinematic. This is where the emotion of the video comes into play. Those close up shots is what really draws and, and gives people a different perspective that we don't normally see on an everyday day basis. Like I said, our medium shots is what we typically see on an everyday basis. But those close tight shots of of like using the, the, the laptop or using the computer as an example of someone actually going through the program, that could be a shot of someone actually, you see the, the mouse, the arrow of the mouse going over and clicking on a part of a screen to showcase your software, right? Those are your close tight shots. Those are ones where people are feel like they're a lot more connected, a lot more intimate, be a lot more impactful when you mix that in. And these three different shots to use on one scene is something that is gonna make you instantly a much more better videographer. Or if you're just a starting out and trying to shoot your own footage um, to start, you know, when, if you're just starting out your business or you're in a business where you can't necessarily hire a professional but need to do it on your own, this is something that you guys need to have and start practicing while you're doing and shooting your videos. Do a wide, medium, and tight shot on your B-roll. But the second thing I would like to suggest is what kind of tools and, and things to make your B-roll much more cinematic or much more professional. Like I say, you do not have to be a professional to use these um, and to be able to establish different shots, but this is gonna make it look just so much better for you, I promise, I promise. People are gonna be like, when did you become a videographer? I promise. So, a couple of things that I suggest to use when you're shooting B-roll, all right? If you are just shooting all your footage on your iPhone or on your Android, there are some amazing tools out there that you can use to make your footage less shaky or more smooth and a little bit more cinematic. You could get a slide shot and that's known as a gimbal. This gimbal that I'm referring to is from DJI. Uh, it's known as the Osmo. Now I do have a gimbal Osmo right here and it looks like this, all right? You could go with this. This is an amazing tool to have. 
This is an actual camera. In here, you put an SD card, and right here you'll put your cell phone so you can view on what you're actually shooting. This gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to get some amazing uh, smooth and silky shots um, while you're creating your B-roll. They also have an Osmo where your iPhone actually fits in. So if you wanted to not want necessarily the, the camera, you can actually use your iPhone to do these nice, amazing smooth shots to enhance the quality of your video. Like I said, when you're shooting your video, you don't want it just to be stagnant. You want to have some kind of movement. Um, you want to be able to lead the viewer to to, to, a, to an end point, right? Everything we do is, is leading a viewer to, to the finish line. And what that may be is, is to buy your product, to buy your service, or, or what do you want them to feel like at the end of the video? Do you want to feel, do you want them to feel more motivated, inspirational, hopeful? You know, these are the emotions that you're trying to gather up and B-roll is going to allow you to do that within your videos. Okay. So this is a fantastic tool to use. And I believe when I bought this, this was only like 500 bucks. So I don't know exactly what they're rolling on right now but definitely go check it out dji is a fantastic uh tools uh to use to be able to create some amazing dynamic b-roll another uh camera that i highly suggest uh if you wanted to go out and invest some to create some uh b-roll easily for you and uh, if you're not a, an expert on using a camera that's simply a gopro especially in today's gopro where they have the image stabilizers in it now that really allow to have you go around and be very flexible and get some smooth shots, be able to shoot things in areas that you would never been able to shoot before. So get creative, go use that GoPro. What's also nice about that GoPro, what I like about it is that you really do not have to worry about any settings. You don't have to worry about setting your ISO, your shutter speed, what, what exposure do you need to be at? You know, leaving it on auto really makes it simple so that the thing that you have to do, the only thing you have to worry about is creating those amazing uh, B-roll shots that, you know, and get creative. Just that's all you have to worry about and just get it shooting and be creative. Think outside the box. So now with that being said, kind of give you and guys an example and an idea. I went out and uh, the, <laughs> Uh, earlier this year and I went out and uh, went hiking. I went out and took my son out to hiking uh, in here in Arizona, the Superstition Mountains, beautiful, beautiful area to go hike at. And uh, I took my camera with me. And all we did was shoot some great, amazing B-roll and help tell a story just using B-roll. Just help telling a story just using B-roll uh, of our hike. So pay attention. When I'm out to play this video, watch. Watch how I did my shooting. I did wides for establishments. I did some medium shots of my son walking across the, the and hiking. And then I also did uh, some really nice, beautiful tights of my son's eyes, tights of flowers, the wildflowers that are growing, just to really give us a different perspective on how beautiful this hike was. Like I said, you could tell a whole story with no words and a little bit of music and just strictly using all B-roll, you can have yourself a pretty powerful uh, storytelling video. So I want to say thank you guys. Enjoy it. Watch the video. Here it goes. Roll it.
I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope this gives you a little bit of a different tips and tricks. I'm gonna bring out more topics, more strategies, more information uh, with this, along with bringing on guests and interviews. If you guys like this, please hit like, comment, uh, tell me what things you, uh, other things you like to talk about, you wanna hear, you wanna learn, you wanna listen to, uh, let me know. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and uh, hit the like button, and all that would be just greatly appreciated. And I'm here to basically help give you guys more content, more value, and have fun this 2019. I heard it earlier that 2019 is the year of the video. Guess what? Video's been around a lot longer than just now. So I'm looking forward to you guys coming on to the next show. Talk to you soon. Later.